So let's go ahead and give this second shape here a try. And it's very no, or very important that you recognize that when it says 1.5, we're not going to go one and a half lines. And so what we're going to do to make our lives easier, and you hopefully already marked this, but if you haven't marked this already, you can do it now. Um, we're going to say that 0.25 equals one squared. And so I'm going to write this here at the top. It doesn't really matter where you write it. We'll say 0 0.25 or 0 0.25 equals one square. And so therefore, 0 0.5, so we'll say 0 0.5 or 0 0.50, either are the same thing. 0 0.5 equals two squares because that would be twice as many. And therefore, if we say, you know, one, if we say one or 1.0, we'd say, or even 1.00, that would, of course, be four squares as well. Just in case you haven't made that note for yourself, you can go ahead and add that now. And so with that in mind, let's say, okay, I want to make sure I have plenty of room for myself. And so I'm going to go off to the right just a little bit. I don't want to draw it here because then I'll run into this shape. And we talked about that in the last video as well. But I'm going to give myself plenty of room. And so I'm going to say that this is the top of my shape because I know it's only going to go downward below it. And I know I have plenty of room to the left. I'm not going to hit anything, but I also have plenty of room on the right where I won't go off my page. Let me go ahead and just cover this up here. And so when you see it says, okay, go to the right, go down and to the right or in the X direction. So our right direction one, or 0 0.75, that says 0 0.75. What it's really saying is three squares. And so from here, I'm going to go down and to the right or in the rightward direction, three squares. And then it says, go straight down another 0.75, which is again, three squares. And that's just kind of how you translate onto isometric paper, these measurements, at least in this system that we're going to use in this class. So one, two, three, and then it also goes from this corner. It went some amount this direction, although it doesn't clearly say that. And so I'm not going to finish off this line. I just know it goes in this direction. We're going to have to figure out what that number is. But if we go back up here to this corner, you can see it goes down to the left or forward 1.5. And if we say, okay, if 0.75 is 3, then 1 would be 4. 1.25 would be 5. And then 1.5 would, of course, be 6. And you're welcome to check my math by saying, okay, what's 1.5 times? Uh, or yeah, well, you, you get the idea. You can check my math. Um, well, you, yeah, you just say 1.5 times 4, and you'd get 6. But anyway... And basically what I'm trying to say is we're going to go forward six squares because it says the measurement is 1.5, and we can count it out again. So we could say 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75 would be three squares, one would be four squares, 1.25 would be five squares, and 1.5 would be six squares following that system. And then it goes forward some amount. And it doesn't say, not forward, I'm sorry, that's to the right, that's in the X direction, but it doesn't say how much. But what I'm going to go ahead and notice is this is a rectangle. And so if this is a rectangle, then if it's three over here, wouldn't it be, of course, three over here to the right? And then, of course, that would mean that this is six long. And so if we did it right, these should be six squares or 1.5 measurement. So we could say that's inches. It doesn't really matter what the unit is, but... It should be six apart, so one, two, three, four, five, and six. And of course it is because math. That's what I like about math. It always adds up. And so from there, we can see that it goes down a certain amount. It's 1.5. Again, you can count it out, or you could say, well, I already recognize that 1.5 is six squares. And so we go down one, two, three, four, five, six. And then it goes forward some amount. We can figure that out in a second. But over here, it also goes down. The question is, is how many? Well, again, this is another rectangle. On this side, it went down three. So we can assume that this goes down three as well. So one, two, three. And then, of course, these should connect by the same width because the width doesn't change. Just because we went halfway down its height, the width doesn't change. It's still six across. So if we did it right, again, these should connect one, two, three, four, five, six. And they do. Voila. It's not magic, but it's math, right? And so from this corner, it also goes forward some amount. The question is, is how many? And from this corner over here, it also goes to the right. That's not forward. I'm sorry if I keep saying forward. This direction is the width, as we said in our last couple videos. So it goes some amount to the right in all three of these directions. And the only one we're given is 2.25. And the question is, is how much is that? Well, if a dollar or one is four squares... 
So we say one is four squares, then we could say two is eight squares. And so two and a quarter, 2.85, or sorry, 2.25, that would clearly be nine. So we can cross this out and say nine squares. And so we say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if you're not sure, we can go back and we can check it. We could say 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, a dollar, a dollar twenty-five, a dollar fifty, dollar seventy-five. Uh, $2 and 225 and so we, I mean, yeah, it's 2.25, that makes sense. And then the question is now is how high does it go up? Well, we might not be able to figure that out. All I know is it goes up and it goes back. And again, I can assume that this, this, this depth is six because it didn't stop being six deep from front to back up here. It's still six back, but three, four, five, let's make sure we get one, two, three, four, five, six, perfect. And then it goes up some amount. And you might be able to look at this and say, okay, I can see it's obvious how tall this is going to be. But just in case you can't, let me show you how I figure it out. So if you notice from here to here is three and the entire amount is nine. Well, okay, three plus what is nine? That's how far it'll go forward from this point on. So if this is three and the entire thing is nine, okay, and we know it's three because we looked at it, it's three up here, it doesn't stop being three, then this has to be six because six plus three is nine. So we go one, two, three, four, five, and six. And if we did it right, it should connect and it connects by a distance of three. And let's see if that makes sense. Okay. We know three up is, you know, are we okay? We went three up and then we go three more up. Okay. Three plus three is six. So we know we did it right again, because math. And then from here at this corner, we go one, two, three, four, five and six and then it goes down three one two three and then these connect by a distance of six as well and that's how you do this shape